thanked by his counterparts from Somalia and Ethiopia. Turkey Foreign Affairs Minister Hakan Fidan said he remains hopeful the two Horn of African neighbors will resolve their differences peacefully as they prepare for the second round of talks in September. During our talks, both with my colleagues and among the delegations, we were able to elaborate on all of the discussion points. These deliberations have allowed both parties to express their sensitivities in detail and enabled all sides to get a better understanding. It is no secret that due to the complicated nature of the many dynamics at play, we will need further reflections on this issue. In light of what we heard today, we remain hopeful for the future. The ministers agreed to meet in Ankara to have a second round of discussions on the 2nd of September 2024. Although there were no direct talks between the two delegations in the first round in Ankara, the Somali president is optimistic that the relations between the two countries will return to normal once the differences are resolved. We would like this tension to end and the relations between our two nations return to before January 1st, before the MOU was signed, so that discussions between our neighbour as well as between Somalis continue, because we have exhausted a lot of energy on this. The tension has also given new platform and energy to the armed group Al-Shabaab in recruiting and radicalising young Somalis to join the fight. The agreement between Ethiopia and Somaliland, signed by Prime Minister B. Ahmed Ali and President Musa Bihi Abdi, will grant Ethiopia 20 kilometers of coastline to build a naval base in return for a stake in Ethiopian airlines. Ethiopia will also recognize Somaliland as independent state in future. Somalia insists that the MOU between the self-declared state of Somaliland and Ethiopia is null and avoid, since it violates its sovereignty and territorial integrity. According to the international law, Somaliland is still considered as part of Somalia. Hamid Kahi, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.